Hello everyone, it's Brett here on Heart 84 and um, although I vaguely, I quickly skirted over my Asian pears in a quick walk around video which you may or may not have seen in my garden I thought I'd do a bit of a longer feature video on them as we've got flowers on a few different varieties this year um, and I thought they merited their own video as we're now sort of heading into the third week of March um, the first one we're looking at here is my um, this is Kumoi didn't flower I don't think at all last year might have had one or two flowers on it obviously didn't set any fruit um, but it's nicely covered in flowers this year which I'm really pleased around there's not many insects around at the moment but at least I'm filming this when there's a dry spell so no doubt a few bees will pollinate the flowers and they um, you know and they'll be pollinated by wind pollination as well obviously too much water spoils the pollen on them um, in common with my other ones this has been planted up in a nice large um, one of these sort of fabric bags this year so hopefully that's going to allow it to uh, to thrive and at least produce a few fruits for me behind it in a bag I've got this one is a Nijisiki which is I think the one that's also known as 21st century it's got some flower buds on it it's a bit behind the others um, I cut it back quite hard because I wanted to try and encourage it to branch out more from these lower shoots because it's a bit frustrating that all it had was a few shoots right at the top but I left these spurs because I thought it'd be fun to see flowers on them now in the only one that I've put as you know in ground is my uh, Olympic which is I believe also known as Korean Giants very excited to see that it's got some flowers on it and I'm hoping as it's been put in ground uh, there's a possibility the roots have obviously got an unrestricted run that it might if I haven't disturbed the roots too much it might possibly produce one fruit for me plenty of new growth coming out on these shoots I have cut it back to a manageable height to encourage these side shoots so um, we may see a flower on it obviously my most established one the one I've had the longest is the Shinziki again flowering really really nicely now um, had a lot of troubles with codling moth maggots on it last year so I'm planning to spray it this year for those and possibly bag the stems as well in the hope that I can protect the fruits because it completely stopped the fruits from developing properly which is very unfortunate now this one was quite stunted last year uh, both in growth and in the size of the flowers because it was extremely pot bound so I've also put it into a very large um, it's now gone into a lovely large fabric bag of about 90 odd litres so um, that's probably getting close to 20 gallons so that's uh, certainly between 15 and 20 gallons so it should be all right in this one for absolutely years I hope uh, at least three or four years um, they're not easy to repot out the fabric bags without cutting them off uh, and to be honest if it gets bigger than this if, if the pots get bigger than this it's near impossible to move them so that's my Shinziki I don't think that has any other names it's looking nicely and the final one to look at which I cut back heavily last year because it seemed to have some kind of virus on it is my Hong Li. Now I still don't know if it's healthy or got a virus problem. There was a possibility I thought it might have had um, uh, a blight but it did shoot out really nicely after I cut, cut it back hard. Obviously there are no flower buds on it because these new shoots grew last year and didn't develop any fruiting spurs but if it turns out that it's healthy and obviously that's also been repotted into a large fabric bag if it turns out it's healthy all of these new buds should form side shoots and spurs and then eventually uh, there'll be flowering spurs now it does look mottled still on some of these stems so I really don't know if it's if it's got a viral problem or not now if it looks diseased this year then I'll have to get rid of it because I don't want it to spread 
to the other trees but it might just be because of what happened to it last year that it's looking like this certainly the new shoots seem to be coming out fine so obviously we will uh, I'll keep an eye on it during the summer and I will do some update videos on it so we'll get a chance to see whether or not it is recovering or if it has still gone, got some kind of long-term virus problem in it. So those are my five Asian pear varieties, one of which is in ground, um, and we'll see how they do this year, and hopefully we're going to get fruit set on at least two varieties, even if it's only one or two fruits. It would be nice to do a comparison on the, uh, a comparison on the appearance and uh, taste of them. So thanks for watching the video. Please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel of course you can share the video if you think anybody would be interested and click on the bell if you like updates on new videos when they come out which will of course include updates on my asian pears i'll see you all soon brett out for now